from high atop a rainy candlestick park in San Francisco, California. It's the NFC Championship game as the New York Giants take on the San Francisco 49ers. The winner onto the Super Bowl to face the New England Patriots. Starting to rain hard. It's been raining all week in San Francisco. Field is wet. On their second drive, the 49ers would draw first blood. Alex back to throw, looking right, looking right. Throws a touch pass down the far side. Brian Davis got it. On the run, 30, 30, right, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, 49ers. All right, we got to play ball, man. Calm down. We got four quarters to play. But on their first drive of the second quarter, the Giants would strike back. Manning's pump fakes, now throws under, he's got his man, Bear Pasco. Touchdown. I mean, wide open. 11-15 to go in the second, tied at seven. Meanwhile, Victor Cruz was tearing up the NFC's top-ranked defense and Pro Bowl cornerback Carlos Rogers. Crews are just playing flag football right now. They're playing absolute pitch and catch. Pitch and catch. You're going to have to find a way to get Carlos Rogers some help on it. I know he's the pro bowl corner, and Cruz is just having his way with him right now. Cruz at 112 yards on seven catches already. I can't cover no off route all day. Like, if I go inside, the man running outside. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I did want another shot at Carlos Rogers. I'm not going to lie. In the regular season, he had an interception on me and did my dance. You know, and I want a little bit of revenge. Manning's under pressure. He's going to step up and throw one left. Caught at the 22-yard line again by Cruz. They're not taking it from me. They're not taking it from me, Coach. They ain't taking it from me. They weren't going to take my goal to playing a Super Bowl. This thing that I've dreamt of all my life, they weren't going to take it from me that, that day. I just felt so adamant about that. And Lawrence Tynes would give the Giants the lead at halftime. Kick on its way, plenty of lag, and it is right down the middle for a field goal. Woo! Giants lead the Niners 10-7 at the half. As the second half began, a cold winter mist settled over Candlestick Park. The 49ers offense went to the air to retake the lead. Smith looking to throw. Alex stands it, throws a deep ball for Vernon near side, and he's got it! Touchdown! Second of the ball game for Vernon Davis, and the Niners are back in front. He's got to push it toward Amy Fogg is the only guy that can work out. you got to realize where he is. But in the fourth quarter, the Giants' secondary would shut down Vernon Davis for the rest of the game. And with the 49ers' top target out of the picture, San Francisco quarterback Alex Smith became a sitting duck in the candlestick quagmire. Wheel route left, he's in trouble, and he's gonna get sacked by Pierre Paul and Justin Tuck. The Giants cover, and Alex didn't look like he had anywhere to go. But the steady driving rain was also a problem for Giants quarterback Eli Manning, who was under tremendous pressure all day from the ferocious San Francisco defense. I started to walk over and tell David Carr to get warmed up because, uh, you know, there's some hits the Union think he was going to get up. And now he's going to get planted and sacked from behind by Alden Smith. When you pick Eli up out of that mud, it was kind of like you had to have a spatula like to scoop him out of it. His jersey's halfway ripped off his shoulder pad and his chin strap is on his nose, but he was still cool and calm and collective, man. He never complained about you know, guys not blocking or, or just yelling at him. He never yelled at his offensive line. He never yelled at any one of us. In the fourth quarter, the Giants would capitalize on a huge mistake by the 49ers special teams. Kyle Williams going to let it hit. Takes a bounce for New York. Takes a longer roll for New York. Boy, that guy is picked up by a New York man and running it as if Kyle Williams would have touched it, but the ball is being ruled not touched and down. Devin Thomas is saying it hit one of the body parts of Kyle Williams. Well, that ball graze his knee. And it yeah. hit his knee. The Giants have to challenge that. You said it touched me? Yes. It did not touch me. But it is the Giants' ball at the 29-yard line where they recovered it. Manning 
back to throw. He zips one to the left of the end zone. Touchdown, Giants! Mario Manningham! Third and 15, and the New York Giants score a touchdown. And the Giants are back in front with 8.34 to go. New York's lead was brief as the 49ers answered on the next drive with a field goal to send the game into overtime. Hey, we got one more ball game after this one. One more, let's go. Let's finish this off. The stalemate continued until the Giants' special teams broke San Francisco's heart again. Weatherford takes the snap. Boots one. Returnable for Williams from his own 20. Lost the ball, and the Giants say they have it, they do! Kyle Williams was stripped of the ball. Incredible. For the first time, Candlestick is quiet. Quiet, quiet. One jarring, jolting mistake. Lawrence Tynes hit a 47-yarder in Lambeau Field four years ago to send the Giants to the Super Bowl. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Good. Everybody's set. Snap is low. Kick on its way. It's got the distance, and it is good! He's done it again. He's kicked the Giants to the second Super Bowl in four years. <laughs> We're going to do a bowl. We're going to do a bowl. I'm so proud of these players and these coaches. You know, nobody gave us a chance after we lost four games in a row in the middle of the season. We didn't write ourselves off. This is for all of the Giants, all of our fans, and we are thrilled to be going to Indy. Congratulations, Giants. We're going to the big one again. Yeah. One, two, three, three. Yeah. 